What's up guys, it's Wilson, also known as Design by Will, and in today's video we're going to be designing project 4 of these shorts for the summer, Hoochie Daddy shorts, and they're going to be inspired by the MLB World Cup series or World Series icons and logos that they use for all their titles each year. Um, this is also inspired by Eric Emanuel's World Cup series shorts, well he just took the logo, added a little bit of flair to it, literally just a couple of type. Um, but yeah, we're gonna redesign one completely from scratch inspired by those icons And the good thing about this is it can double up for a hat or maybe just a jacket But yeah, this is a very versatile design that you can utilize in a lot of spaces The first thing we're gonna want to do is just find a good type that kind of flows the same as the original World Cup series I know a lot of them use cursive, but I wanted to be a little bit different with this one and pick a more futuristic y2k sort of style type the type that i'm using is called antilles once you got your type you just want to create outlines by right clicking and pressing create outlines then you're going to right click and press ungroup and now you can formulate and play with your text as shapes so now they're shapes and you can move them around do whatever you want to them i'm not going to be doing too much with this i'm just going to make the r big because i want to emphasis on revision and r is the primary logo for the brand so keeping that art direction i want to put that as the focal point for this icon or whatever you want to call it then we're just going to go up and press effects and warp and um, we're just going to play with the warp options and you guys can pause it and copy my settings but honestly enjoy illustrator and play with all these types because the more you play with it the better you get after you've done that you want to go to object and expand object once you've got it how you want now it's formulated back to a shape rather than a warp mesh i guess and now i'm just looking for nebula sorry i'm going to be using nebula for this project because i don't want to do too much with this and i really like this star because it reminds me of the mbl logos and how they have theirs a little bit um the first thing we're going to want to do is just right click it and arrange center back and we're just going to see what that looks like and play with the colors but ultimately we're going to want a way to merge these two together after playing with the positioning and getting it how you look um, and the design flow is right you're just going to right click your type and go object path offset path set it to 10 and i'm going to keep mine on meter because i like the edges of the type and we just want to select the whole thing so let's just go again object path offset path um set it to 10 because 20 was way too big once you've got that you just want to use a shape builder tool and grab a different color and then you're just going to go around this star and click the shapes that you want to build once you're using the shape builder tool it basically builds a shape within the selected area and now those get grouped together and you can just basically remove the offset on the type and once you've done that you can start removing the old object i guess the old star when it was built together and now being black that's why you get a different color when you use the shape builder tool because you can see which shapes you've built um, now we're just removing the rest of the type um, offset once you've got it how you want it, we're gonna start playing on this um, star inside the R. Like this will make or break the design because it's gonna be the focal point. And I'm just gonna basically build a shape within the R to make it look like it's been cut out, like the star's been cut out. And my, I'm not gonna say it, me being stupid, I didn't listen to my own, <laughs> my own words. So I'm just using black to build the shape because I'm comfortable. But for beginners, I would recommend you clicking a different color so you can see what you're doing as you're doing it. But the shape builder tool has like this white thing that shows which shape you're building and what shapes have been built. Once that's ready, we're just gonna click the shapes that we want to delete and then bam, we've got the focal point of our design, which is our type. So now we're just gonna be designing the banner for this. It's exactly the same as we did before. Same type, almost same everything. Um, I'm just playing with the kerning of the type uh, to make it feel more of a space within the banner that we're designing. And once we've done that, just create an outline, select a different color so you can see what you're doing. Um, and just align it using the align tools so you got it dead on in the center. Now I'm just expanding it without holding shift to make it more warped because yet again, I want it to fill more of the space um, and make it look more full. Then you want to go to path, 
offset path and this is just going to create a simple little outline for our typography um, just to make it stand out a little bit more because right now if we keep it plain it's going to look ugly and the way my brain works where i find it so hard to teach people is i work backwards so i already know what this is going to look like in my head and um, it's really hard to tell people what it's going to look like without showing them what it's going to look like um, and yeah so let's continue with this one i'm just going to find some more type to go over the 20 because i know it says 2020 and that's not the year it's basically going to be a motif to when i thought about starting revision it was around 2020 um, and then 22 22 is when i'm going to execute it so that's just the thinking process of the design um, this is going to completely change like i don't like how that 22 looks but now the main focus is to get this banner looking like a banner so you're going to want to grab two rectangles and place them evenly on each side of the main rectangle at the end and the way i did that is i just put it at the very end until it aligned and then hold shift and pressed the arrow forward until as many times i think it was around five or ten times on each side so then i know it's perfectly aligned there's probably better ways of doing this but that's just the way i've done it then you just want to create a different color and this is going to be the important steps that makes it kind of look 3d like that little triangle so you're just going to grab a little point on the end of the big one and then connect it to the point at the end of the smaller one in the corner just like so and once you've done that select all of them get the shape builder tool select the black and then just build a shape now it looks like it's bending so just as simple as that and now that we've got the f basically an understanding of what the banner is going to look like we can now go in and play with it a little bit more make it look more of a banner so we're going to create those little cuts the ribbon cuts at the end and the way we're going to be doing that is we're going to be using those measurement numbers that the pen tool gives you when you're using the pen tool originally i just put a little dot in the center just so you, i know where the center is when i'm using that pen tool and then we can use that to align the little um, lines that we're going to make so gonna grab the pen tool click on it and you see how it says around 305 or 400 see how that number pops up we're just gonna align that number and click it in the center and then go back out and we're gonna repeat that exact same number on the other side so click that corner make sure the numbers match up and it's in the center and that line that guideline will pop up if your guidelines are not popping up press command h because you've put guidelines hidden and then the guidelines will come back up and once that's done select the whole thing again use the shape builder tool my favorite tool in the world and then use the direct selection tool and just delete the corners now you got perfect cut ribbons and now you got a banner this is the premise this is the final banner anything else we do to this is just stylized we've got the thing that's most important now i haven't done anything crazy i've just changed the colors to see it more but i've selected the whole thing and i'm just going to click path offset path and that's just for the rectangles just to get an outline on this because i realized on all the mlbs they have a the vintage one they sort of have an outline on mostly all the important sections and you can see me here just going in and editing these triangles manually so they fit the new offset because i forgot to click those when i selected which things i wanted to make an offset path on holding shift and collecting multiple items just like i'm doing now and i'm just sampling the colors of this 1989 all-stars game california um, angels i end up changing all these colors but this gave me a little bit of more of a premise on where we're going in terms of art direction um, i just went back to the nebula pack just to grab some more things to stylize it like i said before the premise of the banner is already finished everything else is complete right now we're just stylizing it until we get it to fit the rest of the design and i've just grabbed these little star or shuriken icons and just place them on each side just to add a little bit more flair 
you know, making it pop. <laughs> that's what clients were saying, make it pop. But yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Just playing with it, making it like look a little bit better. Once we got our design how we want it to look, we're just gonna go to effect, warp, arc. And we're just gonna play with this arc to sort of match or mimic the revision um, typography at the top. Not too similar, but not too different. So it flows really well with the rest of the design. And yeah, once you got that happy, just go to object, expand appearance, and now it's an object. Make sure you're always holding shift while in Illustrator, at least for Mac, so your objects don't get warped or anything when you're making them smaller, bigger, etc. There is a way of switching that around, but I'd rather keep everything factory and just learn it factory than play with settings. Now we've got the premise for our banner. We're just gonna work on the typography again, revision, and just make it stand out a little bit more. Like in the example from the All Stars game, they have an offset path on the whole thing. It's two, it's a white offset path and then a black offset. So we're just gonna duplicate that onto our design. And I'm just gonna skip past this part because it's the same thing as before. Make a duplicate by dragging it out. Go to path, offset path and then use a shape builder path offset path shape builder until you get the size that you want i guess so yeah now you see that globe that they have underneath the world series just on the right of us for our reference image on patreon um, we're just gonna kind of make something similar towards that um, and i want to put stars around the revision logo just to <laughs> emphasize on the whole um, World Series and like championship type theme um, and aesthetics but first I'm just playing with the arrangement and the way I want to put this right now I'm just thinking out loud on the actual artboard just drawing stuff in so I don't forget it like those streaks were meant to be stars coming out but after I added these stars using the nebula pack um, to the actual design. I thought that the streak of stars coming out would have been too much But you see how the streak is following from the ball um, On this world series 2000s um, logo. This is a very cool type I might copy that for like a new hat design somewhere in the future But yeah After I added these stars onto the revision logo going around I thought that stars were, were getting too much of stars right now so yeah, I'm just going to stylize these stars by just going path, offset, path. This gets really repetitive, so that's why I skip it. But if you guys don't want me to skip it and leave this all in, let me know in the comments. The final thing is to add a little bit of a backing, I guess, to the de design to bring it all together. And I'm just going to click one of these um, outlining shapes. That's what I call them, or oval shapes that you can use in your designs people i don't know what they call like title highlighters or whatever but yeah this is going to be going on the back and we're just going to be playing with it using warp and that's basically it um and then expanding the actual design and then using shape builder to fill it in and add some color i added a bit of an offset um just to give it an outline because i felt like it felt too plain with just the all black outline but yeah, this is primarily the full design. Now it's just time to play with a little bit more placement and to get it how we want it and then to colors and then that's it. So I haven't done anything crazy, just effect warp and then just put it at the back. And that's just for that outline title thing in my bob. And for the revision logo, I just made it bigger and centered that within revision and 2020. The last thing we need to do is fix it up the 2020 because it's not 2020 we need to make it 2022 and the way we're going to be doing that is we're just going to be using some custom type and we're just going to be using the brush tool in illustrator now i'm not doing anything too crazy here i'm just going back and forth using this brush tool and the first try was actually okay so i'm going to keep it and i'm just going to make the width or the the weight of the line a little bit more thicker and then just expand appearance and just duplicate it for safety, then path, offset path, set it to whatever that's comfortable to you. 20 seems like a good size. Then shape builder tool, set that to white. And once that's set to white, you just wanna bring it down, make sure it's on top, arrange, bring to front. 
and align it and then just use the align tools in the properties panel to make sure it's all good highlight it all and press command G to group it and now you have a two that can sit comfortably on top of the rest of the design that brings a whole collection all the whole collection of items together to make one design that flows really nicely all that's left is just to make a quick and simple mock-up just using the mock-up from my patreon at studio will that's where it is or you can watch the previous video to watch how i made this mock-up in slow motion well it's sped up but you guys can slow it down because i didn't cut out any of it i just sped it up because it took a little bit of time it's not too hard to do i'm just going to keep this one simple white and yeah that's the final design so let me know what you guys thought overall about this revision i guess mlb inspired type design that will sit across like the front like stated before this mock-up is available at the studio wheel patreon and also make sure to follow revision at revision.psd because we're going to be doing a giveaway soon of the revision hat um, and i'll see you guys when i see you make sure you click all the links peace